So these are both Carly Frio, as you can see on the screen. Yeah. And we should have I'm all over the place. a very good matchup. Yeah. Um, Going into round this four. This is interesting because I'm not sure if John has a lot of answers. It needs its answers early. It needs its answers early. It needs to control. It needs a lot of hand control. Early. Yes. That's what it needs against this deck. Collector Company does do a lot of work, but it'll always be a good card in modern. Yeah. I remember what I picked mine up for two pounds each. I mean, each, he's no probably running four Inquisitions, two Thoughtseize. Yeah, that's good. Any, any I think that's quite good. And it's fair. It's how many? Fair. Lili it's either four, full four Lilianas. <laughs> three Lilianas. That's still pretty fair. That's true. Yeah. And you've also got a Prep Decays, which deal with a lot of stuff in this deck. Mm. You've got Colligan's commands, which are always good. That's yeah. the reason why you play John now. Is, is you've got bolts. Command. You've got. You've got enough to case. kill off anything that she wants to play. Colligan's command to get to the back. You've got plenty, plenty of removal, and a lot, yeah. of, a lot of the creatures in this deck are very weak. Yeah, they are very small creatures, but a lot, when you put them all together, they're really good. Yeah. What I was surprised to see is um, Olivia Voldaren. Oh, it's a very good card right it now is. in the main board. It's it's harking back as to a one of it's awesome. Like you can have a spare one in the sideboard as well, just in case. But it's a, it, like you could either have it in the main or in the side. Yeah. In this case, we see a Huntmaster in the sideboard. Yeah, Huntmaster in the side definitely is uh, for those burn matchups. Yeah, and we just roll in to see who Let's goes see first. It. We'll start the reaction now. Ooh, that was a good So Laura is going first. Yeah. Let's see what happens with this matchup. Just remember, on camera, do not forget you subscribe if you're not following me. That's indeed the effect, yeah, the sky rule. Laura. One of the games, someone tried to flash back and our opponent's turn us off. Do you want me to show hands to the camera? No, you don't have to do that, don't worry about that. They can just about see. Well, you don't have to put them that close to the camera. At least they're trying to help us, aren't they? It looks like a good hand side hand. Yeah, Michael. A, it's a solid hand from Jund. Yep. Uh, and it looks like also a very solid hand. Yeah, very solid hand. Yeah, he's got uh, Laura's got Eternal Witness and an Offender. So that's a lot of lands though for Jund there. Yeah, that. There's a Lily though. Yeah, it's, so you don't mind losing a couple of lands. No, you don't mind losing a couple of Lily, but there's still a lot to keep. It's four or five land hand that one, I think. Yeah, yeah. Four, Just going straight to four land is your top end of what you want in yeah. your hand. You don't want more than that. Five yeah. lands is for like Raging Ravina later yes, on. Yes. And straight into the Inquisition. Now we'll get to see. So we've got Coco, we have Eternal Witness and we have Anafenza. It's a very strong hand that one. Yeah. So they is. can't take the Coco, but whatever he takes, he can take back with the Witness. So I would probably take the Witness at the this point. The Witness is the strongest card in this yeah. in this point. There's nothing else really doing much. He can get rid of Anafenza before it gets too big. True. And too troublesome. But there There's is nothing, no mana ramp. Yeah. There's nothing like that. Yeah. So he is taking the Anafenza. Does he think he, he might have another discard spell in hand? Yeah, he might. Which is. We did see a Terminate. There is a Terminate, but it still comes back though, the Eternal Witness. Yeah. It'll still bring it back. So if he wants to spend two mana to kill mm. that and get a card back from his. Yeah, I thought he would, might have taken the Anafenza at the, the Eternal e Witness. I think the Ewit's the better choice there yeah. to take. They're both on 19 now, so they've both yes, fetched. Yeah, yeah. Let's wait and see. Yeah, I would have taken the Eternal Witness and then terminate the Anafenda yeah. as soon as she comes in. You could do that. I think that that's probably slightly stronger than yeah. taking... Because you, know, you don't want to have to kill Anafenda twice. No. <laughs> There's an... There's the Viscera Seer. So we have a bit of a scrying action, hopefully. So then. that's part of the combo. It is part of the combo. I'd rather see off a cord, though. Yeah. I mean, the Anafenda is an important part of the combo, but you can just get it back with... Either. Yeah. You can also get called back with he whip, which is yeah. <laughs> pretty so she's take, strong. She's taken two. Looks like she's going to play the seer this turn. Mm -hmm. I've actually played games where you cord into e with to get back to e with to get back cord that yeah. you just played. So it's that is a very heavy hand there. That is a heavy hand. Would you just uh, terminate the viscera seer, or would you wait for the anaphensa to come in? I'd probably wait for the anaphensa just to keep it. There's another inquisition. Because, um, yeah, and there's the other. There's an That's the three. reason why. That's the reason why. <laughs> it's a thought to be better because you get rid of the collector company yeah. then, but. And another Verdant Cat comes through now. Well, let's see what happens now. Oh, there's an Inquisition of our own by the look mm. of it. Oh, all the Seers coming in. Yeah, the Seers, the seers breaking in. 
And That's another scene. Another scene. Nine Inquisition is <laughs> double trouble. This so if he pulls off the Maelstrom pulse. <laughs> it's going to be very, very loud for her. Yeah, the problem with Viserys here, you can always respond by sacking yeah, Viserys you're true. here. <laughs> Target that? I'll sack it anyway. Yes. Yeah. Good old Viserys here. Can't beat it. A bit of early sack, can you? Let's see what happens now. So he's got green and red. Green and black at the moment, but he has got the yeah. red land in hand. I think he and might that's... just... I think he might jam the uh, Liliana down here. Yep. He jams the Liliana. Yeah. Yeah, he's pulled the Huntmaster of the Fells out of his deck. So, so he's going to start making him discard. Like, this is a real awkward situation for her now. Because she's had her hand stripped. So, out of the... So what would you pitch out of your hand if you were Michael right now? Because mm. both players... He's already chosen, so... It's, it's Laura that's got the hardest choice here. Because yeah. she has got the land. The fourth land for Coco. Yeah, she's decided to keep the land. She's kept the Gamini Township. I think that's probably slightly better. And she's just drawn the land off the uh, top. Yeah. I think. Yeah, she has. She's drawn the uh, uh, Winter at Teeth. Ah, that's a shame. But she... But then she has got Gavany Township online. Yeah, she has. Um, I'm gonna go and uh, Michael discards Bob. And here comes Huntmaster with the token. This is going to be a scary feel for her now. Yeah, because if she doesn't draw a spell, she's in That's trouble. That's flipping. That's <laughs> killing something. That's and he has another lily in hand. I was discarding it anyway. I was discarding it to the lily. This is going to be very so hard. So lily is now up to five. This is going to be a very hard matchup now. I think lily's ultimate is only minus six. I know. Uh, yeah. I think this. She's just reading that. Uh, checking that it's not going to flip this turn, but. Yeah. Just working out if she can. And oh, off the she cool. She peeled the co off the, the top. The company off the top. So all. Uh, she sees the combo. She wins this. Yeah, but unfortunately, it's noble hierarch. As an e-wit though. And e -wit, yeah, e -wit and Bird of Paradise. Bird of Paradise and e -wit. Getting back. Would you get back Collective Company? I'll probably get back Collective at this point. Cause yeah. Because Collective co Yeah, you get back Collective Company, then you can just do it again. Yeah. I was getting back a land. Oh. Interesting. Oh, she wants to Gavany. Ah, right. That's why. It's an interesting choice, that. Yeah. Well, there's a treetop village in hand. Would you just not cast anything right now? Just uh, uptick Lily? Yeah, you could do that. Just uptick Lily. Let the Huntmaster flip on your I think turns. he's going to do that. Yeah. Now, it's, what, is she going to block the Huntmaster? I think I'd block the Huntmaster with the Ewit here. Yeah, there's there's the block. So I have a force him to terminate it. Uh, yeah, because then that's his spell for the turn. And then they can't flip or just but I re Yeah, he's yeah, going to terminate here. So he doesn't die. Yep. And she's sacking, and sacrificing to the Viscerous here in response. Okay. So in response to the Seer sack, she's going to... Yeah, she'd play her land. Play her land first. And go to core to the Gavany. Yeah, that's the... We're just... <laughs> I think they're just doing this to save time. <laughs> I think it is. Saves us as well. Yeah, bit, saves it? us a little bit. So at the moment, Eternal Witness is dying. Um, she's and still got a scry on the trip. She's got on the stack. scry on the stack. So that ghost court is actually showing a bit of use here today. Yeah, yeah. So that dies. So both players have no cards in hand. No cards in hand, but Jund has a Huntmaster. Yeah, J Jund has. <laughs> No answers. <laughs> so, what? What would if you were Laura? What would you want to see on the top? Coco or would you? Coco or cord, I think. Mm. Or just anything really. So and a fence. She's going and to a fence. The and drawed. That looks like cord. I think it was a cord she saw on top. Yeah, that looks like cord to me. So she can cord for three. A Finx. You could probably get a Finx, couldn't she? Finx would say would actually gain your life. So and it will stop the uh, Huntmaster flipping. Yeah. I think she's, yeah, she's and, uh, for yeah, four, I think. Four. four? Mm -hmm. Yeah, caught for four. 
What's she got for four on her list? Limvala. Mm. Oh, oh red. murderous red cap That's as good. well. That kills the Huntmaster. That's good. And he doesn't really want to block it either. No, because they just kill the wolf. Well, or him. <laughs> <laughs> All she needs now is either um, uh, she needs a Malira or Anafenza. Or Anafenza. So oh no, Anafenza won't work in this situation. The, oh, persist, yeah. the persist trigger puts yeah, does, red cap on it, yeah. minus one minus one. True, yeah. So it makes it a one one. So it makes it a one one tied for least With, toughness. Yeah. So it would work. She only needs a cord. And you would have to kill Murderous Red Cap on the stack. Yeah. It's a quarter Red Cap. Oh, that looks like a Malera. I think that's a Malera. That looks like a Malera. That's a Malera. That's, that's the a combo. Top deck of that's the top deck of the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah, murderous red cap deals the damage needed to That's the scoop. That's a top deck. Wow. <laughs> top Jesus deck the Malera for the win. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Davis. <laughs> Buy a lottery ticket, please. <laughs> Did she win the lottery yesterday? I don't know. I don't know. She might have done. <laughs> Is that why she just come today just to try and like win a bit more money? Yeah. That luck though, like, but to be honest, you could have seen four cards off the top of that deck in the yeah. entire thing. Yeah. So here we go, we've got our sideboard here. So, Laura against John. Sigarda comes in. Yeah, Sigarda comes in because no way of dealing with Path it. Path probably comes in. Would you... Or even Mind Sensor. I wouldn't put even Mind Sensor. No, it's not. Voice could come in. Voice could come in. Because of the um, instant speed removal in John. Uh, Brook Decay could come in. Could do, yeah. Yeah. I'd get don't... rid of Goifs and. Yeah. But there's a lot of high cost and stuff. Yeah. In terms of the uh, John sideboard, Spell Sky comes in. Yeah. I Spell mean, Sky got will come idle... in. Formulator will come in. I would probably, if I was Michael, I would probably bring in the Huntmaster. Maybe the extra. Maybe the Golgari charm actually, giving minus one, minus one. Yeah, it does get rid of Sears and land. Yeah. So I think you can bring in the Golgari Charm, Spell Skites, mm. the Fulminator Mages. Yeah, the Fulminator Mages, definitely. And maybe a Huntmaster or a Liliana, depending on what he feels like this matchup. Mm. As he's going first, the yeah. Liliana might be slightly better. Yeah, because you want to get rid of the hand as quickly as You want to possible. try and clear the hand. You want to be playing one for ones as best you can and start playing Even Liliana. Even Slaughter Games could come in slaughter games because you'd probably name either malera but there's two pieces of the combo now which is why slaughter games isn't ah, as good but then again you'd probably choose viscerous here true because uh yeah, there is no other sack, sack outlets. outlets no there isn't so viscerous here is probably the only valid. other thing valid target for that yeah no other sack outlets. yeah no other sack outlets i would actually choose bring in slaughter games name viscerous here yeah, that's prob that could come in. We'll have to wait and see, though. This is this is an interesting matchup. It can go mm. either way. Like that top I mean, deck. Though. I've seen a bunch of Malera combo lists actually, actually have um, uh, evolutionary leap in them. Yeah, some of them do. So it's, it's private. No, no. Some also have also Vontiv. Someone's playing. Yeah, also Vontiv. That's the that's the other one you can have. Yeah, I think that's a good one of. Just yeah. as another win con. I believe also Pontiff is in the sideboard. Or of Pontiff's the uh, minus one, minus, minus one. Minus one, minus one. And so then you also get the um, Cartel Aristocrat. That's Cartel the other, Aristocrat. That's is the, the sack sac outlet, outlet. There, yeah. which I think is very good as well. Yeah, but in this list from... I can see it as a one-off in some uh, lists, yeah. especially there's like slaughter games and there's yeah, a lot of them going say, around. Yeah, as an alternative sack outlet. You go Cartel and you yeah. go, oh look, I'm still win. Yeah. That's the thing, isn't it? But this is, this I like is the a, Chandra Pyromant Master, I believe. That's, good against tokens and burn. Yeah. I think, and it's also very good against the yeah. uh, longer matchups. It's like the out it's outpost siege basically. Yeah, it's outpost. Some decks play outpost siege. Some play some play charge. Charge has got oh, a bit no, more versatility. Pyromancer, isn't it? Is it master? Oh. Pyromaster. Yeah, it's got to be Pyromaster. Yeah. But that's that's still the uh, it's still charge Pyromaster. So yeah, it's yeah, still yeah, outpost yeah. siege, or it's pinging something and stopping. And of course, when you've got no cards in your hand. 
Pyro Master is an extra draw. Yeah, it's Outpost Siege. Yeah, it's Outpost Siege. If, if you want the easiest sort of thing. But yeah, we'll, we'll keep going with this one. This should be an interesting matchup, though. Mm. I like the Sin Collector in the sideboard as well. They're very good against... Burn. <laughs> burn and also... Uh, control. Any control matchup. Yeah, any control matchup. But definitely Sigarda has got to come in. That's, this matchup. that's the best thing about company is that you can literally just have loads of one-offs. Yeah. It's yeah. Ba it's pod. Yeah, it's pod. It's podless pod. It's podless pod. <laughs> It's what it is. Yeah. I do miss Pod then. <laughs> that ship has sailed, man. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sad. <laughs> should bring it back just for another season just to go, oh, yeah, we've got Pod back again. And then Andy Devine were like, yes, I can play my deck again. Yeah, but, but if Pod has to come back, something has to go out. Which Exarch. <laughs> you just might as well just say split the twin and kick each other. You just go away. Yeah, you can get, I think you can easily get rid of Exarch. In modern, yeah, and it, Splinter Trouble will still be a deck. Yeah, just have Pestamite, Pestamite, and, and the uh, Frog Lizard. Yeah, it will be it'd be Rug instead of like straight blue red. Yeah, or it'd splash green just for that. Yeah, like it normally does anyway. Yeah, it always splashes at least one Stomping Ground in the list anyway, just so you can. So have, you change the Stomping Ground to a Breeding Pool. You'd have one Breeding Pool, one Stomping Ground, yeah. or something like that, and that's all you need to change. Mm. And you just have four Pestamites and two of those like lizards, mm. and you just have to do it that way instead. Mm. Well, if you've got greedy, you might as well collect your company as well. <laughs> then you're getting greedy. Then you, then you deserve to be blood mooned. Yeah, true. We're going straight up for the... Straight um, for the birds. Straight for the ramp this time. We're not messing around this game. And um, that's... It's a scoos. That's, that's a very scoos. good. Yeah. Gets through to the graveyard interaction. And the voice did come in. No, is a, the voice is a very good card in this matchup. Uh, it was like a windswept teeth. Are we going straight for a... Uh, I think it's straight for the voice. Straight for the voice. And then we've got company next turn. Yeah. So turn three company is always good. And you've got voice back up. Yeah, I'd crack the windswept teeth, uh, tap the lands for the tap the lands for the uh, voice of resurgence. See there's one thing I'm Because I think I saw a path yeah, to exile in that there was hand a path as well. As well yeah. So yeah, birds isn't attacking. One thing I did not notice that wasn't there. No anger of the gods in the sideboard. No, no which is anger of the gods. Very, very surprising. In yeah, because it's such a good card. Yeah, against this matchup, definitely. Against any creature deck, it's a good matchup. Yeah. Like, it houses Zoo and Murphy. It houses this deck because it exiles them. No, he's thinking. There we go. Um, he's blocking. He's going to force the abrupt. Oh, he's going to force the abrupt. Okay, will this force, force the, the path? path? I think it might force the path. Float the white. So it's going to force the. So yeah, yeah it is that, pass. That, yeah. That was a good, good bit of move there. That was yeah. very useful. Forced to tap every all the mana. He gains one life out of it. He's going for his basic now. I was about to say he must have at least one basic in there. And he's got a few basics. No, and he actually, it doesn't game. He, there was no creatures in the yard, was there? Because he was about to abrupt decay to eat it. No, he abrupt decayed it, ah, right. pumped it, and then ah, in response yeah. to the pump, pump. Yeah. you so exile still, it. So he still gains the one life. So it's all it. about the timing. Yeah, on that it's one. all about the timing. So that's what happened. That's pretty good, and she's still she's still very I'm high. I'm surprised up. it just didn't. I would have probably stacked it on the gold on the abrupt uh, decay just so he doesn't get the one life. It, the one life very doesn't really matter for this match, true, I don't true, think. Because combo decks. It, I'd rather have them tap out for it. Oh, she does have Malera Kitchen Finks. And the Seer. Did she have the Seer as well? I'm not sure if she does. Is that a Seer? I think. That's a Seer. That's a Malera. <laughs> you have a turn. You, ha you have a turn, Michael Parker. You have one turn. <laughs> you need to top deck a burn cell because you've got all lands in your hand. He has a hunt master, but that's not enough. Hunt master's not enough to stop it. No. Oh no. Oh. Damnation. Damnation. Well. Interesting.
Sorry about this, guys. There we go. There we go. So swinging four because of exalted. Down to seventeen. And he's cracked for a. <laughs> yep, he's cracked his line for a uh, double going tomb. We'll keep it nice and going. This one, I think, this is quite an interesting matchup. Yeah. The damnation definitely helped. Oh yeah, yeah. He that needed was... to damnation or else he was dead. <laughs> I think... or, or at least a million miles away. Or a million I... life away from Yeah, it's infinite life. Which can be dealt with in this deck, because you just go for a deck out if you want to be that yeah. sort of person. Yeah. So it's, he's got the wolf now. Yeah. But there's a collective company coming off again this turn, so he's not yeah. gonna, it's not going to be ever flip. Yeah, it's... That's a thing. Double things. Do you just attack for the four? I think you attack for the four. Yeah, you attack for the four. So force the double block or single block. It'll be a single block. Yeah, here. single block with the wolf. Hmm, interesting. He First, knows about the collected company. But I'm surprised she didn't activate collected company was before damage. Because then we've got uh, potentially could have got two oh, more damage. Oh, is he not blocked at all? It's not blocked at all. Oh, well, that's. that's I don't dangerous. think he has. Yeah, he hasn't blocked at all. I'm surprised. Ooh. Well, I was surprised. I would, I would have ditched the wolf at least. Maybe she's playing the kitchen things this turn and saving the. Uh, yeah, saving the cocoa. Yeah. Saving the cocoa. It's one of those things you can, because you'll never yeah, uh, that. Yeah, because she's got she's a noble got, hierarch. And she's got enough cards in hand to make sure that card never flips. Yeah, the eternal witness can block. Oh, there's a colligan's command. That's quite. Oh scary. well, that's. Uh, What's he got in his yard to return? He's got a damnation. He's got a damnation, yeah. He hasn't got enough to cut. Actually, no, I think he does. He hasn't played a land this turn. Actually, would you let it her discard? You can make a discard. Probably discard the kitchen things. Yeah. And keep the collective company. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> not cast anything. Yeah. And Hunt Master flips. That's a way of doing it. So the damage. It's going two. Two damage to this. Two damage to kitchen things. Two damage to you. So it stops. So in response to this, you can try and company. And get you the win. can try and get company. But then she's opening herself up to that Colligan's command damnation. So she's going to try and go yep. for it. But then he's also still got the Colligan's command to deal with. So on. here we go. I think that's Malera. I'm a Lear and a Seer. Yeah, that's the that's it. And even a red cap. The thing is he can still in response to that kill that again. Yeah. So he's she's not dead yet. That's a very big creature. That is a six six elemental there. Uh, I think Michael's just thinking he should have responded to the collector company. Yeah. yeah. Oh, persist on the trigger. He's got something. He's going to kill the Malira. He's going to try and kill them up. He'll kill the Malira. I'll do um, two damage to Malira. Yep, two damage to Malira. And yeah, just got the last kitchen thing. So the um, kitchen thinks is on the stack. And that's, I'm 
the stack. <laughs> yeah. So Kitchen Fix is still on the stack. I'm taking, no, the, hang on, that's still on the stack. The scry resolves first, I think. So she sacrifices yeah. Malera yeah. to the Vishira here. Scry resolves first. Yeah. So Scry goes. Hmm. Well, that could be. It's definitely mm. not a land. It's a creature, I think. Then I saw. I think I saw two one. <laughs> could be another Malera. Could be another Malera. And then. Could be. Uh, it did look green. Then it's another Scry. from this. And then you that enters the battlefield on Scry? I thought that uh, yeah, Kitchen Pink died to no, the. No, he just uh, sacked it in response. And Ravager deals two damage to you, bringing it back to the same life. No, I don't think she did. I think it died before she found the. Yeah, yeah. We've got an extra Scry there, but it's still the same. Yeah, same top, so. And then Ravager deals two damage to you, so you go back to 16. Yeah, Ravager deals his extra two damage to the. Yeah. To Laura. That was in my. So, Viscera Seer, so there's five creatures on board, that should be a five really, shouldn't it? Because you've got Kitchen Finks, Noble Hierarch, Eternal yeah. Witness and Viscera Seer. And the token itself. Yes, it's five creatures. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Coordinator. <laughs> Coordinator's hard at work there, keeping yeah. an eye on our screen for us. Sounds like someone's trying to break in. So this is... Two spells have been cast though, so it does flip. Yes, it does flip back. It's Mr. Trigger there. Uh, yeah, Mr. Trigger. That's that's a game changing trigger though. Yeah, that you could have. Um, that, that, it's a beneficial trigger, so he's missed that one. He's missed the trigger. But it's a beneficial trigger, that's his responsibility. But it so also changes the game state, it doesn't does, it? yeah. So do you want to let Rich know? Quick. Because he cast collect she cast collective company. Uh, she cast collective company, he cast a Collicans command. No, it's a single player. It's a single oh no, it's single player, don't Single no, no, player. No, single player. It's a fine. I thought she cast collective company, but no, it's two uh, it's when a, a player one, casts oh, two it's spells. A, I thought it was two spells in a turn. No, no, it's so whenever a it's player a casts two players. Hard. Oh, we're going back. Yeah. <laughs> if I don't see werewolves in the strat, there's gonna be trouble. Oh it's bound to be, isn't it? Yeah. Might not bring a Ravager back. Let's see it. Yeah. Oh, oh. another Eternal Witness. It's like came back. Oh, I won't get the Malera back because the combo's gone now. Mm, no, because Malera removes one, one minus one minus one counts. No, but it's only it's still gone. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. So the persist trigger still goes. So. Yeah. Sound. I think we're still. Think yeah, we're still live. We're still live. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's a, a seven-seven. <laughs> we have a seven-seven elemental on the field at the moment. This is a, quite a scary feat. This. Yeah. So swinging Fortunately, in. Fortunately, does eight, not eight. have trample. It's an eight-eight though. Fortunately, does not have trample. Un that's a shame. Yeah, uh, two, spell two spells have now been cast. So eternal witness and kitchen things. Yeah. Huntmaster flips, two life gained. Yep. Go and back. a wolf. Oh, that's a lot of lands. That is a <laughs> lot of lands. And a treetop village as well for an additional block. And a raging ravine. Oh, that's a lot of blockers, but that 7-7. Seven, seven that's 7-7. Seven, very seven. scary. Well, it's not going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. It's always going to be an 8-8. Eight, eight. He passes in turn, does two damage to Viscerous here. I believe he's targeting. Yeah, that seems about right. Scry. There goes Viscerous here. Scry one. So he's done one to Viscerous here and three to Laura? <laughs> no, it's two damage and two damage. Oh, two damage and two damage. So, so it's going to be two to the Viscerous here. Two, two to, to Would you have actually taken out the uh, persisting kitchen things? The persisted kitchen things? I think the Viscerous here is more scary. Mm. It's the fact you can... No, you could would have targeted both. You can only target one oh, creature. Target one creature, one player. Uh, so it's target, it's been a while it's target player yeah. than target creature. Uh, so it always does the two damage first. Yeah. And then does the. Then and does in, the, in with the 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. Yep. Jump block with the wolf. There's, There's an offensa. So with Viscerous off the table. Just made it. That's another land. 
Fuck, it's two rounds. Uh, now, does he attack with the wolf? I don't think he does. He can't afford no. to. So, uh, cracking the horizon canopy. Draw a card. Draw a card. Find another sack. Find the other seer or the other eternal witness. Well, in, in any case, you've got a uh, eight-eight on the field. Oh, there's a collective company. And a voice of resurgence. <sighs> You're not going to cast both. <laughs> no, you cast you cast the collected. I think. Yeah, yeah. So I'd just be swinging him with that. Swing him, see if he blocks. Yeah. And then cast the collected. Because that col that means that he's going to get huge with two creatures on the board. That'd be a 10 10. Yeah. If two creatures are hit. So is he going to block it? That's the question. He can activate a land and block it, but that's losing a land drop. But he's got. To enough. be honest, he's got plenty of lands. I'd activate the treetop village. I think the treetop village is doing the least in this position. Yeah, treetop village 338. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. So the treetop village comes out. Ends up blocking it. Yeah, it becomes chump. Or does he's, it? He's thinking about he's it. He's thinking about it. Is he really thinking about not blocking? I think he's doing the oh, ravine. Both. Triple. Triple block. Oh. So she collects in response and kills all three. All three. If she finds two so creatures. So that's currently four, five, six, this seven. This is a blowout. Three. Oh, it is a blowout. It's going if to she, be a blowout. If she finds the two, it's a blowout. Even if she so, finds another seer, it's a blowout. Yeah. Oh, I think that is a viscerous seer. It is the a viscerous seer. It's, it's, it's a seer and an oh eternal Oh my witness. god, that's a <laughs> that blowout. That is a blowout. And that's infinite life as well. Because there should be a second kitchen things. Yeah, there's uh, kitchen things at the top. Yeah. 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 Get back, collected company. Hey, yeah. Just as he, just in case. Yeah, this this is absolutely well. So just put him on the seer, don't you? Yeah. That goes on the smallest toughness, so there's like loads of things tied for it. So that. you got two triggers. You probably put one on the viscera seer, one on the noble hierarch. Yeah. So this is yeah. This is yeah. Actually, would you put one on the kitchen things to negate the one-one counter? You could do so. You got so you kind of like evened out, and you yeah. have two kitchen things then. Yeah. But that was a blowout. Yeah, that is. <laughs> He's that <not> token's gone. <laughs> it went yeah. Because it went up to Inf infinite life now. Yeah. Describe the whole deck to the murderous red cap. Win next turn. Yeah. Two 0 That was a very good game though. Yeah. Yeah. That was. <laughs> Collected company values Massive again. Massive blowout. <laughs> Too many. Can I play this deck, please? I really want to play this deck. <laughs> there you the go. List. There you go. <laughs> How much is it going to cost me? I've still got two high rocks. Still got four oh, birds. Hmm. Might end up playing this list. Yeah. The Valor Keeper of Silence, though. It's 20 quid, though, isn't it? Yeah. And I need the cords, and then it'd be the lands. But. I have plenty of collected companies. <laughs> I have four of those already. I don't need any more. Play them in standard. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to play them as long as I can in standard, it's a good card. Yeah, I mean, never underestimate an Alera combo in a corner. No. <laughs> That's, that was a good game though, I think. Yeah, I mean, Anafenza uh, is another Malera in this case. It definitely is. That's that's what made this deck go better. Yeah. This is the Anafenza. All right. So that's three, four rounds down. We're coming into the uh, yeah. last two rounds. Yeah, four rounds down, and to be honest, it's <laughs> that's that's another Jun deck down. It's another Jun deck down, but they're still in though. Yeah. It's oh, he did sideboard in the Chandra. Yeah, Chandra came in. Damnation came in. Sin Collector came in. Ooh. Gets rid of uh, Colligan's and Colligan's anger. path and anger. Anger, yeah. Which he she didn't know he didn't have. <laughs> still a very good card, yeah. Collector, though, and it can be corded and yeah, triggered. and the voice of resurgence and the past game. See, this, we this is the sort of yeah. deck that might see the white Eldrazi come in. Yes, uh, the flicker, it might be yeah. a one-off in the deck because you can flicker like all your stuff. You can yeah. flick a voice of resurgence and get a oh, token. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's when it, leaves, uh, isn't it when it leaves the battlefield or when it dies. When it dies, I think. Ah, that's a shame. Yeah, or when your opponent casts a spell on yeah, your turn. Yeah, on your turn. Yeah. Awesome. Mm. Right. Well, I think, I think that's all we can say on this matchup. Oh, I think that was a very good matchup. That it one. is a very good matchup. Malera combo, still, still strong. Still strong. Still strong. Pod still lives.
<laughs> Pod still lives. In spirit. Anyway. In spirit. <laughs> with Collector Company. Yeah. That's probably why they got rid of Pod for Collector Company. Yeah. Because you can imagine having both in a, in a day. Ooh. You take out cords. I don't know if you take out cords. I think you keep cords in Actually, the... uh, Pod really wants its high end. Yeah, true, it does. <laughs> it, had, it had seed rhinos and stuff in it. Yeah. One off seed rhinos. Yeah, and one obviously a one of Elish Norn yeah, as well. Yeah, true. So. There are different variations yeah. of Pod, and it's yeah. just one of those decks that needs higher. Yeah, but in this combo deck, this is, you know, yeah. Collected Company. Definitely. If you get one piece, out you That's always have to worry about oh, collecting. Of course, you always have to keep trying and kill the other piece before yeah. anything else happens. But collecting company on turn three on your opponent's turn is always terrifying. It's always a scary thought. And if you get eternal witness, you just get it back for next yeah. turn. I do miss having eternal witness in standard. I wish we did yeah. have it so I could yeah. go. Oh look I'm playing three colours and I'll bring it back. Right, I yeah. think we've got a bit of a break in between the Yeah two. we have got a break between uh so now and round five. Yep. So yeah, and also the cup to top eight. Can't wait to see who's in there. We've still got two more rounds to go yeah, to top eight. That's so, the thing. Yeah, I mean, it's wide open. Wide open. We don't know who's left. No. We'll have to wait and see. We'll but have a look. We know the Malaya record's still in. The Malaya record is still alive. I think that could potentially see top eight. Yeah, I definitely, definitely. I definitely think it can. People can double ID from next round, though, if they want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. But it's risky on the second. It is. But they can ID and go and get... Some have a break yeah have a drink have a rest drink. It, during a tournament situation yeah. you really do not underestimate any rest you no it's get. really good especially on this one as well I think, yeah i think yeah. i'm gonna need some rest in a bit uh, yeah so <laughs> yeah especially gps yeah GP. gps are tiring yeah yeah when you've got nine rounds <laughs> and you and you sit there during round seven bags under your eyes <laughs> and yeah you yeah. need you cannot i cannot stress how much you yeah. need a break definitely so so with that um, i think we'll have a quick we'll have a we'll have a quick break ourselves yeah <laughs> just remember we've always got a patron as well haven't yeah we? we have got a patron we need your support guys cause if, we, if we want to keep doing this and i'd love to keep doing this because yeah, sure I'd, I'd love to keep doing this because we're like you we're fans of magic we we love this game yeah. we love watching this game we love the interesting combos it's 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 a good format especially with modern as modern well. yeah we i don't mean, have enough some of the stuff. top decks today oh. <laughs> i'm looking forward to seeing this top eight to be honest with yeah. myself i'm looking forward um, to talking to someone about it you know it. what i want laura davis to make top eight i think she might i think she might yeah she, yeah, she has a very good record with yeah. us over here yeah when she does I mean, play with us she always seems to go top eight or yeah. top 16 at least yeah i mean the decks, um, do you know what? Laura Davis all the way. <laughs> well, no, we've got a fan here then. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of this deck and I'm a fan of the, uh, I'm a fan of the deck. Um, right. Playstyle, great. Great, great playstyle. Great right. playstyle. We will see you in round five. We'll see then. you in round five.